Today we're testing a bunch of myths in Sonic Superstars, the sponsor of today's video. For example, you can parkour over small objects. Okay, so when you're playing the game, there's sometimes these little objects like this, but apparently if you're going fast enough, Sonic will keep his speed and parkour over them. So why don't we just gain a bunch of speed, run down this hill and, oh, Okay, something happened. Yeah, let's see that one more time in slow motion. Actually, what if you just go from like this distance? Oh yeah, look, now you can definitely see it. Myth confirmed. And we're gonna be answering a lot of questions like these to see if they're true or false. Starting off with simple myths like, you can avoid all of Eggman's attacks in the Pinball Carnival Zone boss if you simply play as Tails. And apparently with this, he's unable to even hit you as Tails if you just keep jumping up like that. I hit him again before his attack could even start. Okay, hit him a third time before he could attack once again. I mean, yeah, just stand in the middle and click A and I don't think he could do anything. Yeah, that was the final hit. <laughs> That's hilarious. Myth confirmed. And we'll end with the big myths like, is Sonic really the fastest character or a secret way to make Tails fly further? But for now, a character won't appear in the background if you play as that same character. So if you didn't know, this game has little cameos for the other characters in the backgrounds of levels. Like in the second act of Bridge Island here, we got Amy in the background just chilling with this walrus. And right at the start of Press Factory here, we can see Knuckles just climbing in the background. But apparently if you're playing as that character, then that same character won't appear in the background. And I think a good place to test this would be in Speed Jungle Act 1 because at the end of the level here there's a certain set piece in the background where you know you can see Sonic and Tails kind of hitting some enemies but yeah if we come back here as Sonic as you can see it's only Tails in the background so that's kind of cool and if we come back here as Tails yep only Sonic will appear in the background so this is totally a true myth confirmed all characters use the same idle animations from their Genesis games. So I'm gonna start with Sonic here and I'll give you guys a side by side. So yeah, okay, he looks at the camera. This so far looks pretty similar. Yeah, and then he lays down. That's like identical to what it was before. Okay, and now we have Tails. He looks at the camera and he's getting tired. Okay, okay, Knuckles is next. Okay, he's posing. Yeah, tapping his foot. That's so far on point. Like, yeah, he's doing his little fist thing. Okay, these are all identical to the original games. And punches. Oh, now Amy, you can never control in the Genesis games, so let's just see what her animations are. Oh, and she has hearts coming out of her, so that's funny. Even though she wasn't playable, that's kind of like what she does in Sonic CD. But still, all the characters you could play as in the Genesis games had the exact same idle animations. Myth confirmed! All characters have the same pose on their end goal sign from the Genesis games too. Okay, so for starters, I'm just gonna hit the goal sign as Sonic and it does that pose and I don't think that's the exact same one. I think it's a bit different. Okay, now let's check out what Tails's look like. Yeah, I mean, I think that's totally different. That's nothing like any of the goal signs Tails had before. And now let's try this with Knuckles. And again, that is similar, but I'm pretty sure that's not the pose or the exact same pose as the originals. So I think that's pretty conclusive. These are different poses. Myth busted. Now, before we get into the more wild myths later on, we have to continue busting the basic ones first. Like how all characters have a backwards ledge animation. Okay, I think it's pretty obvious that if you go near a ledge in this game, you'll have like a leaning over falling animation. But apparently if you look the other way, and yeah, you have two animations. One if you're looking backwards and one if you're looking forwards. That's pretty cool. And testing it with tails now, this is what his forward falling looks like. And this is his backwards animation. And this is Knuckles forward falling. And that's his backwards. And I like this animation a lot. And finally, here's Amy's forward animation and her backwards looked like that. So basically the same thing. Myth confirmed. Only Sonic has a secret third ledge animation. And normally when you go to the ledge, right, you go like this, but apparently you gotta creep even closer to the very end of the ledge. And I guess just keep inching over, creeping your way. And look at that, there it is. I guess you have to be at the very last pixel of the ledge or something, and then you'll see the secret super falling animation. And I gotta admit, I love the animation too. And just to confirm it's only Sonic that has this, I'm gonna try it with Tails too. And I'm literally just tapping the control stick, inching like so slowly. And no, he doesn't have a second animation, it's only Sonic. Myth confirmed. Amy can hit through spiked or electric enemies. Okay, so just as a control, this is what happens when a normal character like Sonic tries to hit a spiked enemy. I'm gonna jump and yeah, you just get hit like that. But apparently Amy can go right through their spikes. So I'm just gonna jump into them and yeah, look at that. It goes right through because she uses her hammer or whatever. And I'm also gonna try this on an electric enemy like this cloud. If I try to hit him, yep, you get hurt just like that. But once again, if you use Amy and then jump again, she can attack right through it. Myth confirmed. 
And if you're finding this interesting, then it would mean a lot if you subscribe for more myth videos. Thanks. You can grow a vine on any surface by using the green emerald power. So with the vine emerald power, you can just grow vines like this. So let's see if you can do this on any surface. Now what if we grow a vine on a vine? And okay, it does work. You can grow vines on vines. What if I'm moving fast though? If I'm sliding? Okay, now I'm tapping it. As you can see, you can't grow it when you're sliding like that. Yeah, it just does the animation, but nothing happens. Now, what if we try this on a snake? Same thing. Okay, you can't grow vines on a snake. And for sand, it doesn't even grow those petals. Like, I'm mashing the, the button right now, and just nothing's happening straight up. So yeah, it doesn't work on every surface. <laughs> Myth busted. The yellow emerald slows down the timer in Press Factory Act 2. Okay, so there's a gimmick in Press Factory where there's a little timer in the background, and if the timer gets to zero, you know, the factory just explodes and you die like that. It's basically like being underwater. But let's see if the yellow emerald that slows down time actually delays the timer too. Okay, the timer's now at two. I'm gonna click stop and... Oh yeah, look how much slower this is. Look how much time we have now. Now it only hits one, so I don't know, that slowed it down by a crazy amount. And that gives me all the time in the world to jump down here. Look, I'm still fine. And click the button and we're safe. That's really handy. Myth confirmed. The yellow emerald power slows down the timer when you're drowning. Okay, so it started now. Four, I'm gonna hit it. It went to three. Okay, it's three, a two. Yeah, it is not working. It is not slowing down this timer at all. I'm still gonna drown. Zero, sorry, Sonic. Yeah, it doesn't work. <clears throat> Myth busted. Sonic is the fastest character. Okay, so to test this, I had all the characters run the same route, and all I do is hold right the whole time. I had them start here with them leaning over this ledge and end when they touch this rock. And the characters moved at literally identical speeds throughout the entire test. In fact, they all ended within two frames of one another. But what really surprised me is that Sonic doesn't even accelerate faster. Every character started running at the same time too. I even tried testing this in a more scripted part with these boost panels to see if maybe Sonic has a faster top speed when he does his iconic figure eight animation, but no. All the characters move just as fast for this part too. Myth busted. The red emerald power does extra damage to bosses. Okay. So I'm at the boss. Let's just see how many hits normally this takes. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, and then he transforms after four. Five, and I get hit. Okay, six. Okay, so he takes six hits. Okay, back at the boss. And I'm just going to use the red emerald. I hit him once, twice, three times. Okay. Ah, okay, and then the emerald ran out, but I only hit him three times, and he still didn't change. Okay, if I hit him four times, yeah, he still breaks after four hits. So those three hits with the fire emerald really didn't do any more damage. Okay, I hit him again. Okay, that's hit number five. And number six. Yeah, so he still takes six hits to defeat. And three of those were from the fire emerald, so even though all of them weren't, I think we could still safely say that it didn't increase the damage at all. Myth busted. You won't fly as far if you mash the fly button when using tails versus slowly tapping it. And I'm gonna go all the way up top to the very uh, top of this waterfall. And now, okay, I'm gonna push myself against this item box and then just fly forward and I'm just mashing the fly button. I'm pressing it as fast as I can. Okay, now I'm going, I'm going, this high tails gets tired, so I'm just holding forward, and let's see where we land. Okay, right there. We landed right about where this rock is, in the middle. Okay, I'm back up where the item box is. I'm just gonna jump and slowly tap the button to fly, so I'm hitting it like now, now, now. And that's like the rhythm we're following. Still not touching the ground, I'm not gonna hit any ground, and I just ran out of flight, and look at that, okay. You, we landed, let's say, right here, and if we go back, Oh yeah, before we landed at this rock here. So that is way further if you just tap the button. And then I landed like somewhere around here. So yeah. And just testing it on the world map. You can kind of see for yourself. Like look how fast the background is moving when I'm mashing it. And if I'm tapping it, like look how, look how fast you go. Myth confirmed. There's a hidden drawing of Eggman killing Sonic and his friends. And apparently it's in Press Factory Zone Act 2 here. So pretty early on in this level, at the very top, you'll see these like screws with spike things. And they're pretty hard to avoid on their own, but if you use that time emerald stop thing, you can do it pretty easily. But yeah, if you just go past them, you can go up here and see a fruit. And if you keep going, okay, look, you can see the drawing. There's Eggman. And look, he's just standing on all the characters. I mean, I can make out Knuckles on the very left. I think Tails is like right here, like this one. And 
Hang on, the factory is going to blow up. I'm going to show you this before we die. And I guess the other two would be Sonic or Amy. I mean, actually, this is Sonic and things are blowing up. But I hope you got the idea. That totally exists. Myth confirmed. Thanks again to Sega for sponsoring this video. And I'll see you guys later.